Got some great news coming for the 2023 Ram pickup trucks. They will be getting the Grand Wagoneer's digital instrument cluster. Thanks to Triple B and the gang on the TRX forums, hundreds of 2023 Ram test mules have been found. So let's see what models will be getting some updates for 2023. The 2023 Ram models Rebel, Laramie, Longhorn, Limited, and the TRX will be getting a 12 inch diesel display just like what you'll find on 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee and the Wagoneer models. As you can see from this build sheet for a 2023 Ram T-Rex Mule, you'll see the new digital console. Compare that to the 2022 Ram Wagoneer, you see the same size display. With the Wagoneer being based off of Ram's body and frame platform, maybe the 12 inch display is the same unit between both models. Solantis has said that they will part share between models and a digital display will be an easy way for them to make one instrument cluster that will touch several models and all they gotta do is adjust the graphics to give each one a different feel. Now we're working on these vehicles together which allows us to share some of the most costly components in a way never before done. I know some of you guys own Ram trucks and Wagoneers so let me know down in the comments if the dash in the instrument cluster area is pretty similar. But this move to the digital cluster is similar to how Ford offers it on his higher trim trucks and similar to how Stellantis has rolled out the Uconnect 5 from one vehicle and then the rest of the lineup a year later. 2021 was the first year for the Uconnect 5 in the Chrysler Pacifica, then it rolled out to most models for 2022, which I leaked a few months before it happened. Now with Uconnect 5 being on most models now, only the Grand Wagoneer and Grand Cherokees got the digital display. Now I'm not gonna lie and not tell you that some of these 2022 models haven't been without issues. The new Grand Cherokee just had a stop sale over its key fob modules. Then you got glitching screens, audio system not working right. I mean, heck, pretty much any model that got a Uconnect 5 has had glitches for a little while now. Just on the TRX forum, we have several pages and threads about Uconnect 5 being buggy. Jeep won't tell you this, but the reason the Wagoneer model was delayed last summer was because some issues were related to Uconnect 5. They had hundreds of SUVs stacked up outside the plant trying to get the radios and the sensors to work because everything is tied into the Uconnect system. Uconnect 5 is all new from the ground up being based on Android. Love it or not, it has its issues, but it's cheap for manufacturer to use and offers a lot of features that we'll see, such as Amazon integration of Alexa, Fire TV for models equipped with a rear seat entertainment systems, TomTom Tom navigation, and more. So I'm just trying to make you aware that sometimes the first years of these vehicles are kind of buggy. Even the 2021 Ram TRX had issues with emissions that caused it to get delayed for several months. I will give some credit to Solandis because they have been applying a lot of over the air updates to fix these radios, but I do know some people who still have issues with theirs. So I'm not trying to deter you from buying one of these vehicles, I'm just keeping you informed of something that you might face in the future. But if you do want to go through and buy a 2023 model, you can jump on the TRX forums and check out one of the dealers there to offer you a great deal on one of these vehicles. Now as far as the graphics on the display and what they would look like, I haven't seen a photo of one of them turned on, but I don't think you had to wait long for Ram to unveil it. More than likely, Ram will show it off in a couple of days at the New York Auto Show, along with the Grand Wagoneer long version and a GME T6 engine that is expected to make its debut there. So we'll probably see the new display, change it to the steering wheel buttons, and some other slight updates to the 2023 lineup for Ram trucks. Looking at the build sheets between 2022 and 2023, it doesn't look like much has changed other than this display. Didn't see any new colors, but they probably just haven't painted one of the mules in that color yet. And it doesn't exclude them from making some kind of special edition like they did all 2022 with the initial edition or one of the built to serve vehicles they did in 2021. The night vision camera on some Jeep models doesn't look like it's coming for Ram for some reason. Didn't see it listed on the build sheet either. Also didn't see the GMT-6 on one of the build sheets either, so maybe Ram doesn't build these particular mules with that engine, or it might be saving the 2024 when they add like EVs to the lineup. I know some people are going to say that it's too soon for a refresh. The current generation has been out since 2019, so 2024 will be six model years, and that's just enough time for them to do a refresh to bring in the EVs and the hybrid trucks that we know that's going to be coming 
but I'll put a link on the screen for the video that I did for this next generation Ram truck that I did earlier this year. But what if I told you there's been some important information that Stellantis has shared during the two live streams? And since Ram doesn't want to say anything, let me paint a picture of what to expect from Ram in 2024 in this video. So enough of this fluff, let's get to the set. We got a first look at the EV Ram and a refreshed 6th Gen 1500. Now I made comparisons in previous videos that Ram will essentially make the 6th Gen 1500 and the heavy duty trucks look closer together. You'll see the notch at the top of the grille carry over, similar headlight design, lower grille tow hooks. Compare that to the current heavy duty trucks, you'll see the lower grille is different and the bumper dips down compared to the current models where the bumper is extended upwards to make a smaller grille. But most likely the 1500s will get a bigger grille design because the GMBT6 engine is a twin turbo base and may require additional airflow. The 6th gen design will basically be a mid-cycle refresh compared to a brand new truck. But like I said earlier, there'll be some minor things coming for 2023, but don't expect anything major other than this digital console and maybe don't rearrange the packages like they did last year. Just saying. And that's it for this video, guys. There have been a lot of delays this year, so I'm surprised Ram brought the digital display for the 2023 model year. Given the part shortage issues throughout this year, it's very surprising they would add a new cluster that need even more chips that they can't get that could potentially cause more delays. But I want to know, are you guys fans of digital instrument clusters? Or do you prefer the current console with a screen in the middle that you can actually see all of it through the steering wheel? Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And if some of you guys who have outstanding 2022 orders, are you going to cancel it in order 2023 when the order banks will most likely open up sometime in May? Help this video out by giving a like and subscribe to the channel if you already done so. And until the next video, I'm out.